Hey, Ken here from Playing Numbers. Today I'm talking about four different data science related roles. I'm going to go in depth into what type of work you can expect to do on the job in each of these roles, what skills you should probably have to, to excel in these roles, and how much money you can expect to make. The four roles that I'm going to focus on are first, the data analyst slash visualization specialist, second, the pure data scientist, third, the machine learning engineer, and finally, a deep learning specialist. Let's start with the data analyst slash visualization specialist. In this role, it's all about telling a story to stakeholders on the business side or the technology side. You'll be using a lot of visualization tools, potentially PowerPoint even, Tableau, Microsoft Power BI, or Microsoft Excel to create visuals that really tell the story and explain the analysis that either you or other people in data science related roles are performing. This role is the most accessible to people who have a background in business, maybe even marketing, because there's a decent amount of skill crossover there. You should still be familiar with some form of programming language, either Python or R, but that isn't relied on as heavily specifically in this situation. Of the data science positions, this role generally makes towards the lower end. I would say I've seen salaries between 60 and $120,000 a year. Visualization is becoming increasingly important, especially dashboard creation. So if you work on and develop that skill and get really good at it, I think in the next couple of years there could be a ton of upside salary-wise. Now moving on to a more general data science role. In this position, you can wear a lot of hats. I would say the average data scientist or the median data scientist should really focus on a breadth of skill rather than a depth of skill especially when you're just starting out. In a company, you can find a project or a silo and really get good at one thing, but in the initial steps, I think that understanding a lot of different algorithms, understanding a lot of different tools, really creates value for you. As a data scientist, you'll be using a programming language every day. It'll probably be your most commonly used tool and will hopefully become your best friend. Python and R are the two most common ones used in the field. Scala is also becoming increasingly popular. So brushing up on those skills can really uh, help you improve the quality of your work and your employability in this field. As a data scientist, you should get familiar with Scikit-Learn and the equivalent in R, where you can focus on classification and regression techniques, which are the most commonly used tools in practice. You should also have some exposure to visualization tools and techniques, although in this role compared to the last one, you can focus more on the programming language specific techniques, be it RShiny or Matplotlib or Plotly in Python. This role has the largest range in salary from around $80,000 to upwards of $250,000. Now how much money you make really depends on a couple factors, a lot having to do with where you live, how large the company that you work for is, and how much experience you have. Now moving on to the machine learning engineer type role. I've been seeing a lot more postings online for positions similar to this, so I think it's really important to get down to the differences between this and other types of positions. Compared to the data analyst slash visualization specialist role, where they communicate a story and information to shareholders, the machine learning engineer actually communicates with other machines. They build a model and they put it into implementation. So it's really important to have a strong technical background, potentially from software engineering or computer science. Someone in this role should have really good experience with Git, with AWS and SageMaker, and a good understanding of microservices how to build an algorithm and fit it into the production life cycle. Because of the increased technical capabilities that are needed here, the floor for this role is generally a little bit higher than some of the other ones. I've seen positions filled here from starting at around $100,000 and going up to around $180,000. The final role I'm going to talk about is the deep learning specialist. Now, as deep learning has gotten more and more popular, this role has, of course, grown in parallel. For this work, you'll be likely using coding languages like many of the others, but there's a higher likelihood that you'll be working on a virtual machine 
because of the increased need for computing power. Again, a strong background in computer science, particularly distributed computing, can provide a lot of value here. Additionally, a background with a lot of math, particularly vectors and linear algebra, can help you tune and improve your models. If I were to try and get one of these roles right now, I'd put a lot of focus on understanding computer vision, how to analyze and classify pictures. There's a ton of use cases for that right now, especially with social networking and with the power of all of the, the video content and visual content that's out there. Of all the roles, these usually start off the highest. I've seen positions starting around $120,000 and going up to, again, around that $250,000 number. All in all, there's a ton of opportunities in the data science field in general, and hopefully this video helps you have a better understanding of what is out there and what you really need to know to get into the position that you're most excited about. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to tap that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe.